If you guys would like to see my super simple natural hair care underneath my wigs, make sure to keep watching. You feel the vibe is contagious. Look in your eyes, it is dangerous. Hey Natural Beauty Gang, it's your girl Shay back with another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my super simple under wig natural hair routine. Um, I don't do the most with it and my hair is always growing from it. I don't wear wigs too much, but I've literally had another under wig natural hair routine and it's I think it's probably the same thing, but I'm just showing you that it actually does work. My hair actually has been growing whenever I do wear wigs or, you know, have my hair in this braided style. It does work. So, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Like I said, if you haven't if you've already seen my other video, it's pretty similar. I'm just reiterating what I've I think it's the same. I haven't seen it in so long, honestly. But I'm just starting on freshly washed hair. I'm going to start by saturating my hair with water and using my Mio Organics leave-in conditioner. Use whatever leave-in you want. I love this leave-in. It leaves my hair super soft, super silky, and super manageable. So after rubbing that throughout my entire section, I'm going to part off that section and work on a smaller section to blow dry my hair because my hair gets very tangled and it's very kinky and coarse so I have to work in small sections to make sure that I'm getting every strand straight and I'm not ripping through my hair and tangling my strands and causing more breakage. So after I've added my leave-in conditioner, I'm going to add more water to that section because I blow dry my hair extremely wet as if I just got out the shower because it helps to get my hair super straight and I'm not, it's not tangled and dry trying to blow dry it. So I'm just finger detangling my hair, making sure I'm getting any shedded hair out because my hair actually air dried. And then this is the next day me blow drying it because I was too lazy to do it yesterday. So I'm just gonna be adding some heat protectant. I believe that was by, dang, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking y'all ear off. But next I'm gonna be adding my Iron Guard spray by Chi. I love this stuff. This has my hair like literally weightless and it is great for protecting your strands and leaving your hair super soft and silky after your blow dry. So I start at the ends of my hair and just begin to detangle my hair from roots to ends and once I get that completely, de completely detangled, I'm going to be using the tension method while blow drying my hair because this helps to reduce the tangles when blow drying because I use a paddle brush I don't have the comb extension on my blow dryer this really helps so that I don't tangle my hair especially at the ends because as my hair gets longer when I comb from roots to ends my ends get tangled because it's a long way for me to comb down so after I've get, gotten my hair pretty stretched out from the tension method I'm going to take my paddle brush and just begin to completely blow dry that section of hair it shouldn't take you long at all literally each section takes me like a minute so blow dry my hair you would think it takes all day but it doesn't and y'all should know by now i am super lazy and wash days as my hair grows has just been getting wash and style days like sometimes they get cut into two days it takes me all day to do my hair so I find the most simplest ways possible to make sure my hair is growing and healthy and it don't take sis all day. So, look at that hair. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Y'all, my hair is just growing and I am so tempted to flat iron it. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I have been going through withdrawals so bad. Like, I've been hating my natural hair because I just want to flat iron my hair so bad. I miss, I used to have my hair flat iron every two weeks, like, popping, like, silk out. But I'm trying this no heat thing. I've been doing this for a minute. I'm about to crack and just flat iron my hair because I've, I'm seeing the growth in it. And I'm like, let me just keep going. Maybe I can never flat iron my hair until my hair reaches butt length. And I could, but... A little heat never hurt. A little heat, all right, a little heat. <laughs> but after, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that throughout my entire head, make sure my hair is completely blow dry, completely dry, and 
this probably took me maybe a uh, Actually, after this clip, my lights went out in the bathroom, so I had to move to my second room and finish blow drying my hair. So this is half of my hair blow dry. Look at that shrinkage. God, look at that shrinkage. This is why I hate wearing my hair curly, because I want my lip at when they look blow dry. That's the lip I want curly. But anyways, I'm completely done blow drying my hair, and look how thick it is y'all look at all that hair so y'all can imagine how long it takes me to wash and then style let alone if i'm blow drying it oh my gosh like look at that fullness look at that oh my goodness that looks so good so look at the bounce to it though it looks stiff but i'm telling y'all if i if i flat ironed it oh my god looking at this video i think i flat ironed my hair next week Oh my gosh, I can't get my foot out of my hair. But anyways, y'all, I'm just, I'm over here in my feelings. But I'm just gonna detangle the, I parted my hair on the side because, let me get, let me give y'all the tea. I was gonna wear this side bang little bob type of wig, but I put it on and oh my God, it was so ugly. So that's why I have my part on the side. But my second wig that I tried out, it didn't matter where I parted it, so it worked out still. So I'm just adding, your girl's miracle oil that it will be coming to you soon i'm adding that throughout that entire section making sure i rub it on my scalp from roots all the way down to the end of my hair and once i make once i rub that throughout my entire section that i'm working on i'm gonna part my hair and begin to braid and you can like i said part your hair according to your wig i'm just gonna be doing straight down braids because it really doesn't matter as long as there to your head and basically you know tied down and not lumpy you good i'm gonna be using my growth strong strengthening treatment and i'm gonna rub that throughout that entire not the entire section just the section that i'm braiding because if i do the entire section my hair will take to the water-based product and i will have to blow dry all over again so just um add it to the braid that you're doing at that moment and I just begin to braid that entire braid. And I do that throughout my entire head. And I should have some real sleek dookie braids. So once I finish braiding all of my braids, I'm going to take, I had two sections, so I'm going to braid all of those braids into one. So that's going to give me two pigtails, and that just works for my wig cap so that I can just, I put them across each other, um, bobby pin it down, and then do the same thing to both sides of the braids. And then the little two pieces that are hanging on the edge, I just tuck those inside the middle of my braids and just bobby pin that down and that gives me a nice little wig cap braid style thing a thing and this is my hair afterwards y'all this is my first time ever wearing a bang like ever in my life i don't know how i like it let me know down in the comments how you guys like it devon said he likes it it's different so i guess it's a win-win Make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you again.